What does the, what does the switch next to the, the, the numbered buttons do? The transmit mode? Yeah. Uh, it, that controls what oh, mode okay. we're going to transmit in. Yeah. Okay. And then once I put it in operate, I just have to hit the CM, CMS back to turn it on and off? I believe so. If And you have to have your CMDS in manual, I believe. I'm going to change the radio frequency. That guy's driving me fucking nuts. We can there. take one away. And... Yeah. Let's go. Huh. Yeah, they did do something with the, with the detents because my detent now almost... Perfect, right? <laughs> perfectly lines up for the fucking afterburner. Which is actually really freaking nice. Yep. God, this guy. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? This is the opposite of cool. This is like, you know, fratricide is a real thing. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, run it up. And let's check here. Standard takeoff. Yeah, three thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay. Rolling in three, two, one. I'm going to go ahead and come right towards the waypoint. We'll rejoin once we get to... through the clouds. Oh. Uh. Of course. VR, somebody calls me. By the way, we want transmit mode three. Okay. Transmit mode three and CMDS mode manual. Got it. I don't see three. Where is he? I am two and a half miles behind you guys. And remember, we want the um, track radar, right? So that it will show up as a 10, if I recall. Yes. We're just going to saturate the hell out of him, huh? Yeah, so let's keep some distance. You know, we're almost to his outer engagement ring already. So let's keep some distance here. Let's make a left turn and do a circle here so we can come in high. Exactly, we're gonna run out of time really quick. Two 
against 10.5. Make sure your arms are on. <laughs> yeah, I got them. I'm going to straighten out at 030. Zero, zero. Copy 030. Zero, Ease my climb here, getting a little slow. Yeah, three spins to uh, 10.3. You know you're still walking away from us. I can pull back some. Yeah, because you, you know when because when you slow down and then you go to mill, we've slowed down with you, and then we're never going to catch you because we're on the same. Oh, I'm not power mill. I, I didn't. I didn't put any throttle in. I just. It's been the same. Yeah, I can pull it back some more. Yeah, because you know we were you. You dropped like almost a hundred knots, so we came way slow. We're, we don't have the. Yeah, we can either climb or we can speed up. We can't do both. And overtake you, you know? Yep. Just got to let me know. I didn't know I was pulling away. So we're right outside of his... His nasty. Yeah, once we get up past this next cloud layer, we'll probably... Uh, I'll use the HTS to get yeah. a rough location on the search radars. That'll put us close to the track radar for a waypoint just to launch, to launch at. Well, it should be right at our waypoint... Waypoint should one be, should be. I, should be, but I prefer to do it. Yeah. You no, know, in a mission, somebody may move it. If you yeah. Uh, yeah, and in this case, um, you can actually tell the mission when it's built to do that. But realistically, in SA-10, you're going to know where it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We should be keeping our speed about, well, about 350. Um. And then, like, hold about 0.8 Mach, because once we start getting higher than this, we're going to start getting way slow. Okay, now level off. In the cloud layer. Shiny, really? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. In the clouds. <laughs> well, you're telling me to do one thing, that's what I'm going to do. Uh It's either speed up or keep climbing. I can't do both. Especially since we already fenced, the lights are off, probably. Oh. But I got, you know, I'm, I'm tucked in on you. We're almost through. We got like another 500,000 feet to go. We'll be on top of the clouds. I'm going to climb a little bit. Yeah, a little more power. Never marking. Not that it really matters because we're in the cloud layer, but you know. Yeah. About to come to the top now. Yep. There we are. I'm getting above most of it. There's still a little bit more to go. 
I gotta put a little more power in. I'm slowing down and I'm oh, yeah. barely yeah. climbing. No, I'm these pulling things, way these back. These really don't like being up here. Well, you just gotta keep weight. her. You gotta keep her fast. Um, so what you can do is just go to mill and then knock it back like a percent or two. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, that's what I meant. And then, like right now, my mill is at ninety four, so I would just knock it down to like ninety two, and then that will give you know everybody else enough time to you know enough power to to we'll do their thing. Level off at of twenty eight. We've slowed down a little bit, but yeah. But that's okay. Once we get to 28, we'll accelerate to about 0 0.87. 0 0.9 will probably be good. I'm going to open up our distance here a little bit. What's your heading? 0 to 9. Okay. Once we get some speed, I'll come back around and we can... Maybe we can just launch at waypoint one. That's fine. So weapon page. So we're gonna do PB and ten selected. So it should be ready to go. I got waypoint one set. So we got POS, we want PB, and then 10 is highlighted, which we actually have, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, make sure okay. you got the way waypoint selected for your waypoint. And that's Should be waypoint point. one. Yep. Oh. And then what we can do is, yeah. You still on, um, so you're turning now, it looks like. Nope. Nope. I've been going straight. We're about to turn, though. We are 85 right. miles. Okay. I'm going to come right. Once we... Um, what's it doing? How's it doing that? Oh, heading select. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, once we get turned in, we're going to go under burner to get the speed up, up quick. we got plenty of gas to use. Just to get some uh, extra energy in case we have to go defensive. Make sure to go to the Smiths and get your tanks selected for selected yep. Justin. <laughs> yep. We're close to get trespass. Hmm? Yeah, once we get to get close to about 50 miles, we'll turn the jammers on. See if it'll launch at us, and if it does, then we can go ahead and let them go. If it doesn't, we'll just keep flying in until it does. Once we get uh, heading towards waypoint one, go ahead and go into. Uh, A line of breast, right. About a, about a quarter mile between each of us to give us some maneuver room. Uh, yeah, I think we're already kind of almost there. <coughs> Just so you know, we're gonna we might pop into some clouds here soon. Yep, uh, gonna be straightening out about one five zero. We're off a little bit, but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and come into burner and then climb to get out of this. Yep. These clouds. Yep. Climbing at about two degrees. Two and a half degrees. I got visual on you guys. We'll level off at 30. Staying in burner for now. Yep. Master Arman coming up on thirty. Hmm. 
We should probably come back to Mill and we're at Mach 1. Yep, that's what I was about to say. I just didn't want to come come off of it while we're still climbing and lose speed. <laughs> yeah. Sixty-seven miles. Yeah. Not yet. Looks like we're in the range bubble. Next yep, range just trespassed, yep. So let's go barrage. I'm, bro I'm broadcasting, music on. <clears throat> Looks like mine's on. They all went blue. I guess that means it's on. Yeah. About 90 miles, um, 120. We got a hostile. Thank you. Don't have the ten yet. Um, you guys, I'm at about point nine two mock. Is that about what you guys are? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm showing almost, almost within launch parameters. Do we want to launch and get the missiles in the air so as soon as they start seeing us? Um, so, or do we want to wait for them to track us? We can put them all in the air early. We'll wait a little bit. <clears throat> if we get down to 40 miles, we'll launch at 40. Okay. I prefer for it to shoot at us first, so we'll see. Yeah, because the track radar is not live yet. Which it probably won't be until... Until we get closer. Yep. Nails 29 times 2. 11 o'clock. Looks like they're coming up on 45, 50 miles. Or yeah, sorry, Xerox. 65 miles. Okay, I got a launch queue, um, but it's like a 37, 37 degree loft. We're going to hold it a bit. Uh, oh, let's, go um, into, let's go ahead and go into burner. Okay, you want full burner or just yep. gates? Yep, full burner. Bring okay, it to launch perimeters. Are we coming off left or right? Uh, to the right, flow 300 after launch. Okay. Are you lofting, Shiny? Or is that... Yep, I'm going to. That's, okay. that's what I meant by bring up to uh, okay. the launch perimeters. I'm going for a loft then. a huge loft, by the way. Doesn't seem right. Well, it's because we're at max range. I'm ready when you are. Are we going to shoot? I don't even have the... Uh... We're getting slow. We either need to shoot or we need to abort. Just hold it for a minute. We're running out of airspeed. Go ahead and let him go. Doodles, Magnum, SE 10. I'm trying to get my airspeed back. Mine's not letting it go. Did you turn them on? Yeah. Alright, turning 300. Three, three, Spiked, SA-10. Xerox. Flowing, 300. 37. Oh, go ahead. Flowing, 300. I don't know why I did that. 30 seconds until impact, hopefully. Box broke. Yep. Spiked. Big yep. 29. 6 o'clock. The 
They're getting close. They're within 40. Spike, big 29, 6 o'clock. Missiles timed out. I lost my l link to you. Still spiked by that of those 29s. My missile's timed out. They won't catch us. Oh. They're about 20 miles behind me. They can't hit from, like that. Shiny, you, you're, you're behind us, Shiny. I think you got visual on me. No, Those no, guys no, are no. really close to you. Uh, they're about 15 miles. We're in a teletrace. So they can't hit from there. Okay. No, we're all right. Because if we want, we can de-louse. Right. But I'm going to wait until we're out. I got visual on uh, two. I think we hit it, by the way. Keep going, they launched at me. They won't hit me, but they launched. I can turn in and, and, zap. and he said no, hold we can de louse if we need to if he still spiked. Why am I getting no rad? My radar is on. Is your music still on? It won't emit. Like that. Yeah, that was it. Was a little chat and flares for it. They're still chasing us. Just keep heading back to, uh. There we go. I lost visual on two. Looks like you're about 15 miles in front of, front of me. What if, how about I turn and see if I can put him defensive? Are you still in burner, Shiny? Yep. Are you in burner too? No, I'm back in the middle. Okay, I got visual on you. We can, um, we can do it. We can de-louse. <coughs> I can turn in. I've got enough room to do it. We both do. I'm gonna say you got two of us back here. Uh, it'll be dangerous. It'll be best to just outrun them. If we, we, we have Sam coverage back home, right? Uh, sure. I don't know. <laughs> we can put him defensive at least and give you some room. Well, let's just hold on. We'll hold a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm coming up on you, uh, Buzz, and I got they're, about ten, they're about 10 miles behind me. That's a little close for, for comfort. Kneeboard. Yeah, I'm, I'm at Mill, by the way. Kneeboard. I'm not only going to Burner. Kneeboard. Well, I was trying to get us back together, because we're both... A missile launch, missile launch. Johnny, I'm gonna turn in. I wouldn't do it. Defending. Is that you diving, Johnny? Nope. It's not me. It's probably one of the it's probably one of the Migs. I, I just died. Like Shiny, what do we want to do? Just keep going. All right. That's why I said you stay in afterburner and keep keep running. Okay, they, they turn cold, I think. Yep. <laughs> coming out of coming out of max. What's the uh, attack in for this place? I don't remember. 
did we get the uh, the, uh 21x Okay, I'm gonna come left 210. We've got 35 minutes to it. Got nails 29. They're still floating around back there, though. I'm gonna go ahead and descend down. Spiked. Spiked. 829. 829. Yep. Yep. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. They're getting way too close. They're getting way too close, Annie. It's all right. Keep going back to base. Go and come down some. Get them getting a thicker area. At a lower range. We have Sam's neck at the base. Oh, we're supposed to, to do that. Right? If you want to, you can go to the max. I don't know how fast you're going. I got visual. Okay. okay. They shouldn't be able to see this little there. Just go ahead and stand around. Stand around. Guys are getting feedback. Uh, Stay in the area. Stay in the area. They're diving. They're diving. Yep, but well, I'm gonna come around now. He's catching up with you. We're at our base, and our base isn't helping. Yep. Yep. However, you have your uh, headset set up that's causing a lot of feedback. That 
That's a kill. It's a kill. Yep. Yep. You got him. It's our TV. I still got a 29 pinging me somewhere. He's running. Number zero 05 is the active. He is. I've got him on HSD. He's back in his SAM coverage. Okay. I've got a Mirage. I've got a. Uh, um, that's a friendly 29. Okay. Remember, we had two 29s on our side. They're probably German. <laughs> I was about to say, wouldn't expect him to be out there that far. Alright, if you want to go ahead and land first, I'm fenced out at. I don't see you, but I've got you on the HSD. Yeah, I've got you, uh, what is it, the thing where you, uh, slick with the HSD and it puts that little box around you. Gotcha. This is pretty shitty weather, not gonna lie, I almost ate, ate shit coming out of there. Check my, my altimeter and I'm like, oh, oh, I should probably pull up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit hairy. I shot a gap in the clouds when I was descending, so I could see you guys. I was coming down. Well, I don't ever want to have to use another Fox Three at six miles in the, in this kind of weather. That was a uh, that was scary. <laughs> It's terrible in VR. No, I mean, it's terrible in, in 2D, too. It's bad. Alright, I'm turning on to final. I'm about six miles out. Gear out. Zero five. Zero five. Gotcha. Go to the F10. There's a mission status um, option. You can select it, and it'll tell you if we hit it or not. We'll look at the tech view.
A touchdown. Take a 21 x ray. Yep. There's another runway over here. I was <laughs> looking at it. Alright, coming in. Feel safer already. <laughs> This motherfucker again. <laughs> I'm clear the runway. Are going sound, in there now. Let's see. That's what I was going to say. It sounds like the 29s. Yeah, I mean, What's going on? The 29s are going in for a piece of the action now. The German 29s. Okay, so it's 6.21 a.m. I just wanted to debrief a little bit about what you saw. And there's not going to be any cherry-picking or trying to hide any mistakes, because there were plenty. However, we learned by doing, as some people have been very quick to remind me about. So anyway, this is our first run. Well, this is our only run at the SA-10 site. And... As we move it forward, you know, we're, we're doing okay. We get the loft cue, and we have to pull really high. We have to go straight up, more or less. Well, maybe not straight up, but, you know, not at a comfortable pace, especially at the altitude we were at, which we were... Let me pull up the telemetry here. So we're at about 30,000 feet, more or less, and we're having to loft these missiles into the air. 
and we have basically used up all of our airspeed. I think at one point I get down to under 130 knots uh, when I finally let the missiles go. And then you see me and Buzz, we fire our missiles at pretty much the exact same time. Anyway, let's see what happens to the missiles. This is probably the most disappointing part of the whole thing. I'll just let it play through. As you can see, looks like we got good, tra good trajectory here. The missiles are coming in. Shiny has not fired his missiles yet, but me and Buzz have, and we're both trying to get out of there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the SA-10 can hold, or target, something like five, and support two missiles against each target or something like that. I'm not sure. I'd have to talk to Shiny or Buzz about it. But anyway, as you can see, the SA-10 site starts to, to wake up and start firing. We've got these two MiGs over here. We're worried about them. I'm especially worried about them at this point because they're coming in a hurry. And as you can see, <laughs> those missiles aren't aimed at us. Those missiles are aimed at the harms that we're shooting. And one by one, sure enough, they go down. There's really not a whole lot we can do about it. But, here comes Chinese missiles, right? Well, maybe we can get in there. Who knows? They might have gotten a launch warning here trying to get over to Shiny. That's what it looks like there. But, as you can see, we don't have enough, and both harms get shot down. What should have happened was we probably should have all committed to the target at the same time, fired our missiles at the same time, and then maybe we would have had a chance. But when they came in waves like that, it was just not going to work. Anyway, I'll pivot to the pursuit. These two MiG-29s are coming in pretty hot. We're trying to fly away. I'm up here. I'm doing Mach 1.3. I um, think I'm holding burner at this point. I think Buzz is holding burner as well, but he's a little bit slower. Shiny, I don't know if he's in burner. I think maybe he is. Although, his airspeed isn't really going up or anything. So I'll fast forward a little bit. Shiny gets a shot here. You know, Shiny's, Shiny's chilling. I'll scoop, scoop it forward a little bit. He never was in danger, at least in, from that missile. Then... This second MiG over here, he's coming in a hurry. He's on a mission. He's got he's doing almost Mach 2. Buzz unfortunately becomes the target of opportunity. Buzz is trying to stay defensive. Unfortunately, it's not enough. And that's the end of the game for him. By about this time I'm back I'm Drop to uh, mill power. I'm not an afterburner anymore. Shiny's not far from me. We turn in like we're going to land. Shiny thought we had a IADS network over here somewhere with Patriot missiles and all that stuff. But uh, as you can see, we clearly do not. These guys are still coming. Although I think this guy back here decides he's going to... he's gonna, better part of Valor is, you know, not dying. So I think he bugs out. This one is coming in a hurry trying to get to us before we get into the IADS network. So they drop tanks. I drop tanks because we're getting close to the runway and this guy is still coming. So he's turning away, but we don't know that. Me and Shiny, at this point I think visibility is a total crap in, in the actual mission itself. But we're flying above the ground. We're pretty low. Shiny, I think, is still jamming, and that's why he doesn't have a radar lock. I've turned my jammer off, because I'm not needing it anymore, obviously. And I get a lock. We're about six miles out from when I pick him up. I fire. The missile's already gone active, so I, you know, I crank away, because you know I want to try and stay defensive, what have you. And... Kablooey. Down he goes. Shiny gets to see the kill. 
and I'm over here, you know, we did pretty good. I mean, I, I scored the only kill of the night, but, you know, that's what it is. We're learning, and we learn by doing. So, anyway, just wanted to show that uh, perspective of everyone, because I know the recording of the mission doesn't actually show what happened. So, now you know. We, we didn't kill the SAM site. We, we uh, failed to saturate the target, but, you know, we had to leave because of those MIGs, and we were able to get back in there, and, you know... I was at least able to kill one of them, but, you know, one of theirs for one of ours. Anyway, that's all there is to it.